some of us men are smarter than that. We don't let our emotions control us. And you have certain women who like to argue when they get emotional. So they would try to say stuff as a low blow to a man to try and get him to be as emotional and steep on his level. Fortunately, I'm not one of those men. So I won't steep on a emotional level with a woman. Which is why a lot of women do not like when men respond in two to three or even one letter or word responses when they but get you just emo- find it that difficult just to tell her even if okay even if you didn't miss her a lot you don't have to say no i didn't miss you just say uh yeah of course it that hard just to say that if she misses me okay she misses me but i'm gonna be straightforward uh i didn't miss you because i just saw you yesterday but- <laughs> Uh, he's special too. Unless what women love to do, they love to have their emotions pampered with, you know. So the man got to say the right stuff in order to make her feel better. Yes, I missed you too, honey bun. I love you and too, smoke skin. The problem is, is that it gets to a form where the woman wants validation from the man which is why the man always had to say I love you too smart skin he doesn't have to say it every goddamn time actions speak louder than words men express themselves more actively than women do women are emotional beings Men, we use our actions to speak. Which is why we're more straightforward than writing two, three page essays in a text message. You get the point? <laughs> I hear you, but. God, you hear me. It's a hard pill to swallow, but. It just, it just, it just... The truth shall make you free. No, it's just dumb. It's dumb. Uh, well, you can feel it that way. That, it's not that hard. Somebody tell you... It's like, okay. So if you tell your, your girlfriend, Oh, I miss you. Wouldn't you expect her to say like, Okay, I miss you too. Miss you for... I don't, I'm not understanding the concept of I miss you because if I just saw you yesterday or the day before it's, there's no there's no feeling in me like oh I missed you you know this isn't Romeo and Juliet you know this is reality <laughs> real love I'm searching for a real love Someone on my heart, he will love. Oh, such a for I real love. You, so you just do. Okay. Let's say you attach to someone. You never been attached to someone? I have many times. So, okay. So you've been with the person. Okay, let's say you've been with the person all day. And, um,. You don't see the person the next day, you see. So you text her the day after, like, I missed you yesterday. What's the problem? You never feel that? You never feel like, okay, uh, uh, like I miss, like, you didn't text the person nothing. You miss talking to them. You miss their presence. You miss, I don't know. Well, with women, I see where they're coming from. No, I asked you if. <laughs> You're saying that if I spend time with somebody that I'm attracted to or attached to, and then all of a sudden we we we, we depart our separate ways, and then I go back home, she goes back home. Are you saying in that moment you're saying that I feel emotionally that I'm going to miss her? Not in that moment, but I mean like the next day. You don't see her for the next day. You don't text her. You don't hear from her. You don't miss her. 
like uh you don't miss talking to her hearing from her if i'm going to be guaranteed to talk to her the day after if she might be busy on that particular occasion um then i'm i'm not i'm not going to miss her i'm just going to talk to her that other day and then we'll go from there And what if it's two days? If it's two days, then after those two days, then I want to talk to her. But you don't miss her? No. Then Tyrone, you never really been attached to nobody. No, no, no. It's not about the the extent of being attached to them compared to missing them. The point is, is that if I'm attached to you and I'm emotionally connected to you in an intimate way, I don't see the logic behind telling somebody each time that you're separate from them. I missed you, honey bun. Each day goes by, I just think about you. You're always on my mind. You know how, like, you you remember, like, back in the day. Hold on, hold on. You remember back. Wait a minute. You remember back in the day where it used to be a. Listen. You remember back in the day where. Men <laughs> used to write these long four to five page essays on in a text message and women would post them on their Instagram pages. Yeah. And be like, look at that, these are gold, look what he said about me. And see that type of stuff right there, that's some bitch nigga shit. In my opinion, at least. But I'm not going to front because I fell for that trend too back in high school. When we used to think it was the cutest thing. Oh my God, look what he said me. But it's, it's that same thing. Actions speak louder than words. I don't feel the need to tell you every time that we're separate. I missed you, honey bun. I missed you, sugar plum. Okay, I understand that. But for women, I understand that. Problem. But like, if you go a couple of days, like, I don't know, maybe three, four days, you're know, talking to a person you attached to or like, I would expect that you miss them a little bit. Like, okay, I didn't talk to her for the day. Um, I miss her. I miss talking to her. Or I miss her presence or something. Mm-hmm. She tells you, oh, I missed you these couple of days, uh, these, uh, these past few days. And you're like, well, I didn't miss you. I saw you a week ago. Hold on, hold on. No, when a That's woman what says, said. That's what you said. I'm generally saying it. I'm saying it without doing all the smooth jazz mojo. When a woman says, "I miss you," I'm like, yeah, I, be- I bet you did. I bet you did miss me. Mhm. Such and such, so and so. But my statement still stands. Actions speak louder than words. Instead of saying about your actions now, what? Instead of saying I miss you, I could just show you. So why can't you just say it? Because I just told you, actions speak louder than words. At least for me. But it's not because actions speak louder than words that that you can't say it. That you can't say it. Sometimes you could tell someone you miss them and show them you miss them. Why does it have to be one or the other? Okay, you you're not understanding so wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. If I follow in your logic, you don't have to tell a woman I love you. You just have to show her. I didn't say that. What I'm saying no, is I'm that. Following, no, no, no. Because I'm following your logic. No, 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 no. Following your logic, you just said actions speak louder than words. Actions do speak to louder than words. I can show you. For a man, okay. I I know for women it's uh, different, but for a man. <laughs> I do not have to tell you every day and all the time and every other time I love you. Women like to hear it because they like to seek that form of validation. Not only women, some men like to hear it too. Yeah, because some of them are, they love to be pampered, but nonetheless, Oh, women. oh my god, your mentality just... No, 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 listen to me. Your mentality... Is a listen to me. Me, please. En vrai, de vrai, tu Men do not have to say every day, every other day, I love you. 
actions. Hey, I know you didn't say that, but I'm just saying that the actions will speak for itself. Now, there's nothing wrong with expressing how you feel about that significant other and even in if, words. And even if, and even if, um, even if a couple wanted to say "I love you" and um, "I love you too" every day while they go to sleep, okay, I love you. What's the problem? If that's what they want to do, then so be it. I'm just but speaking you, on my behalf. I don't you have to tell. To I, in her. I don't have to tell you every day what you already know. That does not make <laughs> sense. That doesn't logically make sense. Why do I have to tell you every day unless you so feel some form of? No, she doesn't have to tell me. I don't have to tell her. It should already be a agreement between each other that we love each other. I don't okay. have to tell you well, all the time, every verbally? other time. Why can't we express that verbally? Exactly what I told you before. Women seek validation. Stop saying women because men. I'm too. saying it. I'm not talking about men. I'm talking when I'm talking about men in this context. I'm talking about men in terms of people who are secured within their how you say masculinity. I don't. I don't. <laughs> but what I'm telling you is that if we, for an example, if me and you have an exchange or an agreement and we're in a relationship, I shouldn't have to tell you every other day, every day, that I love you. If you already know and I already know. That we love each other. Okay. Okay. So I, I never understood the, the concept of you got to tell your woman every day you wake up in the morning, every before you do this and that, that I love you. You have it in, you have it, you have it engraved in your mind that it's women that love to hear that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, um, cause my woman wants me to, I tell to her every day. Some people do it because, oh, I feel it and I just want to. It's a, I, I just want to. Well, or, like I said before, uh, there, there, there are some, some men, men who... Some men say I love you first. Some men say I love you first. Yeah, and but... then uh, they say it every day and it's like, oh, yeah. And you know I love you, right? Okay, that's true. Uh, so what you do every month? Every month you let me know you love me. Only on anniversaries, my birthday, and, and other other events, you'll be like, okay, I love you. What it's I'm telling you. Deal. It's not that big of a deal, no. What no. I am telling you. There's nothing wrong with a man expressing his love in words or whatever the case may be. But what I am specifically telling you is that if there is a mutual agreement between me and you, that okay. I don't have to tell you every day, every other day, or whatever the case may be. I'm not saying you gotta say it on special occasions, but I'm saying that your actions should speak louder than words. There shouldn't yeah, have okay, to I be. Understand that. Okay, I feel like I'm repeating myself. <laughs> no, but I understand that. But you, 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 you frustrated me because you keep saying, "Oh yeah, if a man likes to hear it, like imagine a man want to hear everything because he likes to be pampered." Well, yeah, because a lot of men been raised by women, so they think like women. So they want to be heard that. They want to hear, yeah, do you, you love me, don't you love me? I'm just saying. I've heard it. I've What's seen the it. Oh, you like to feminize emotion? No, 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 no. I'm not e feminizing emotion. For some reason, men can men. Oh if, oh, if a man wants to hear I love you, he likes to be pampered. He's. That's a bitch ass nigga. That's not what I said. I call on your job. Yeah, I don't know if you're a lama. Okay, That's not what I said. 